Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Luke Beller. So the Packers just came out with their fifth round pick or their first fifth round pick. They have another one right after this. They came in and decided to draft Florida defensive tackle Tedderell Slayton, um, a huge, massive guy, interior defensive lineman at 6'5", 358 pounds. So I'll break down what people think about him and sort of how he could fit in Green Bay. But I will be putting out the rest of the draft news on this channel by the Packers, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. So take a look at this guy, 6'5", 358 pounds. Apparently he's an insane athlete. And we knew the Packers needed some help on this defensive line outside of Kenny Clark on the interior. And so the Packers come in, decide to sort of fill a, a small area of need here with this guy, Slayton. If we take a look at NFL.com, sort of what they had to say about this guy, they say massive man with evenly distributed body weight that will have him pegged as a nose in either even or odd fronts. While the traits say run plugger, the tape does not. He doesn't control the point of attack with power and frequently gave ground to double teams and angle blocks. He has the power to handle single blocks and might be able to strengthen the anchor if his bend and leverage can be improved. He's a try-hard rusher whose athleticism creates more pressure than expected. He has late round value and might become a developmental prospect on a practice squad. So apparently this guy is insanely athletic. I was reading somewhere. Apparently he can dunk the football. A defensive tackle who can dunk the football. Sound, or dunk the football. Dunk the basketball. Golly. So he is an insanely athletic player. So it'll be interesting to see if he comes in here and uh, you know can sort of start to perform well alongside Kenny Clark. Who knows though, being a fourth round pick, it could take him some time to develop. Uh, but he, I mean, 6'5", 358 pounds. He seems to be a, uh, a solid athlete. So here's some more information from the Draft Network. They say, Tedrell Slayton is an impressively built interior defensive line prospect. He's listed at nearly 360 pounds, but looks much slimmer than his listed weight. He looks around 330 and carries his weight well with an evenly distributed body structure. Leverage is the name of his game, and he often starts low in his stance. He's able to remain at that level throughout the duration of reps. An extremely powerful player at the point of attack, he makes it difficult for double teams to move him off of his spots. He's a true head-up, zero technique that thrives with maintaining both A-gaps. Slayton wins strictly off of, off of bull rush attempts, and it's a method that he's been highly effective for him to this point in his career. He also incorporates a quick swim move when able to jump the snap. He's been treated primarily as a two-down defender, and he won't provide much value on third down or obvious passing situations. As a run defender, there are stretches of inconsistencies of where he can make plays while engaged on single blocks, but he fails to make an impact and thus falls victim to runs being exploited through his gap. He has the arm strength to reach out and stop rushers in their tracks, but he often doesn't reach out and make an effort to make those type of plays often. There are periods where Slayton has struggled with maintaining his balance when knocked out of plays, and he has some reps of where he will randomly fall to the ground. So with all these draft picks up to this point, the Packers do seem to be feeling lots of needs that like lots of us thought they needed, like cornerback, offensive line, we got two offensive linemen now, um, and now we have another defensive player, defensive tackle. So seems to be a solid player. We'll see in the future, you know, how he ends up performing in Green Bay. But that's me all for this one. I'll drop another video, video soon, so stay tuned. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.